Hey guys, it's Jay Coles, the Bison Guru. And in today's episode, I wanna to explain to you how I've been acquiring property. So last week I posted that I acquired my second investment property here in Philly. And so a lot of people hit me up like, Jay, that's great, but how are you doing it? And so uh, today's video, I'm gonna explain the method that I use. And it's actually, it's not something I invented, it's called the Burr strategy. So it has nothing to do with Gucci Mane. Burr stands for buy, rehab, refi, rent, and redo. And so um, most people you think that, you know, you have to save up 20% down payment, maybe you get a property through FHA, um, a sheriff sale, pay someone's delinquent taxes. While all those are great ways to acquire property, the Burr strategy is the best one in my opinion if you're trying to purchase property as an investment. So without further ado, this is how it works. Okay, so the B and the Burr strategy stands for a buy. So we want to find a property that we can add value to, meaning that you know we want to be able to add the granite countertops, to, ha to add the uh, stainless steel appliances. And so if it already has that, you don't want that property. Second thing is you want to make sure that it's in an up and coming neighborhood. So, you know, you always want to buy something or a property where people want to live or will want to live eventually. So at the end of the day, it comes down to this formula. TCB has to be less than ARV. TCB is your total cost basis. So how much it costs you to acquire the property has to be less than the ARV or the after rehab value or after rehabilitation value. So. We're basically saying, okay, if I buy a property for 60000 after I put the work into it, the rehab, is it going to be less than the ARV? Okay, so this is the formula that I use when I'm just doing an analysis of a property. Before I even actually put the offer in, I see, okay, for example, property is $60,000. i will bring a contractor in, and I'll say, hey, give me an estimate. Estimate will be, I say, 50000 so now the total is 110. Then I do some more research and I say, okay, what are the properties going for that have already been rehabbed? And they're going for 170. Which means that my total cost basis is less than the ARV. So this is a property that I will invest in. I've got to pay this 110 back because I got this from private lenders. I didn't go to a bank for this 110. So when I went to the mortgage company and I got a mortgage for 136, 80% of uh, 170, that money is gonna go to paying that 110 back. So the difference, difference excuse me, will be $26,000. And that comes back to me. In addition to that, I also need to start renting the property out. That's gonna pay down the mortgage and hopefully provide me some cash flow. Um, and as the mortgage is being paid down, equity is building in the property, that's more cash for me that I can either later, later pull out or leave in the property. And so that's the birth strategy. Buy, rehab, refi, rent, redo. Pretty simple. Um, I definitely encourage you to do some more research on it to get more comfortable with it. But you've probably seen it um, on HGTV. They do this formula literally all around you, all day, every day. So. And it can, and this formula or this method can be done in any city. So it doesn't have to be Philadelphia. It doesn't have to be East Coast based. It doesn't matter how expensive a home is. As long as the numbers make sense, they stick, they uh, work in the formula, then it's a good buy. So form LLC, get your friends together, um, uh, find out where there's hard money lenders in your area, and start buying property. So thanks for watching. Never stop learning.